all right so we're doing this problem called merge intervals given an array of intervals where the intervals i equals to start and end merge all overlapping intervals and return an array of the non overlapping intervals that cover all intervals in the input okay let's look at the example 1 3 2 6 8 10 15 8 we get 1 2 6 okay 8, 10, and 15, 8. Since intervals 1, 3, and 2, 6 overlap, merge them into 1, 6. Fair enough. 1, 4, 4, 5. Again, this is also considered overlapping. So if last index of this starting with this match is also considered overlapping. Okay. So how can we do this? Let's look at the examples again. So we have to return. So the task is to merge overlapping intervals. So first let's define when two intervals overlap. So x1, y1, and x2, y2, right? So one could be, hey, I am this, and this is this. These are non-overlapping. Other could be even this is considered considered overlapping. You have to understand, and this is also considered overlapping. So, if I can sort all the intervals first of all, so let's let's go back to the problem, the example, right? That we had the example that was given to us was one three two six eight ten and fifteen eight so just to simplify I would want to sort it from the starting so and in, in this case it's already is but one of the things let's do is is sort by start points right and this this already is so now I have from 1 to 3 and there's another one from 2 to 6 and clearly we can say uh, now now if we know that x1 y1 if you have already considered considered them in the sorted fashion right all intervals we are only considering in the sorted fashion then only thing that we have to check is is compare y1 this is x1 y1 this is x2 y2 so only thing you have to do is compare if y1 is greater than or equals to x2 then they are conflicting right because if y1 is lesser than x2 then uh, they cannot conflict so if this is the case then what do you do then merge to what merge to we have already ensured that x1 is less than or equal to x2 so x1 till uh, it could also be have been possible that it could have and it could have been something like this and another array because we have only sorted based on the lens it could also be something like this and so we have to take the max of the two sorry about that the max of the two okay 
So let's take an example of like this. This is one six. This is two five. And let's say there is another one called this. Uh, I don't know whatever. This is five point eight two nine. Right? Whatever. Some random example. So in this first, I would consider this array, and I'll say hey, this. These two are sorted. These two are. Uh, uh, And so I'll take one to six, right? And then how do I have to return? I have to return a list. Uh, like, can I keep a stack or what? Hmm. Let me see. So, yeah, you you maybe keep a stack. Not the right. Um. So, so how do I convert? So let's say the same. So one three is one and two six is another. And I have to return like a one six, right? So how do I do this? How do I do this thing? So I look at the last interval always, right? So. I yeah, simply consider like a list or something. No. Okay, fair enough. So and now you can convert the list to array. How, when, I don't know. You will. Okay. So so initially you're considering one, two, three, and then you say, hey, one, two, three is conflicting with something. So when you say one, two, three is conflicting with something, you just update it, right? So you say, hey, instead of one, two, three, I'll make it one, two, six. Similarly, so this is this is as easy as that. When you are processing two six, you just say hey, I don't need to process two six. I'll just update one two two six. Okay. Similarly, now you're taking one two six. What you'll say is for two two five is a two two five is completely within it. Don't need to change anything. And the other bit is uh, eight to whatever is five point eight to nine. Hey, five point eight is lesser than this. So whatever nine is, just to change is six to nine. I think I get it. Okay, if you get it, then uh, solve it. Coming back to the uh, good. So essentially, what we're saying is, is that we'll keep. Uh, we don't know how many integers will be there to begin with, so let's use like a list of uh, a list of two D this guy. Here uh, is the um, call it list. Okay, there we go. So new. Sorry about this. Okay. So, now we go. The first thing that I do is, is I saw I sort these intervals, right? So, with these start times. So. Sort sort. Uh, Doubles and I'm gonna pass in a comparator that will help in sorting. So what you're sorting is two two is uh, one two one D arrays, right? And so based on the start time, so A of zero minus B of zero. So you sort the arrays based on the start times, and now you go through each interval. So for each. Interval in intervals. Now, if uh, can you just do? Just add the uh, interval in the list, okay? Else, D 
the last guy that you're looking at is this dot get list dot size. So this is the last guy you're looking at. And this last guy you compare. If last of one is greater than or equal to the start, uh, so interval of zero, then they are conflicting. And what you have to do is just, just update uh, last of one is equals to. Uh, math.max of uh, either you take well you know okay, the last of the two okay so you can the either the last of one but it shouldn't it always be wait hold on so I think you missed one bit about the conflict. So you're saying that it's conflicting if the last one is greater than or equal to interval start point. Yeah, which is fair. So that means second interval starts before the first interval ends. Now, okay, yeah, so anyone can end before. Okay, so math.max of last of one and interval of one. Any of them can end. This is fine. But if that's not the case, if they are not conflicting, then you have to do in the list, just add this interval. Okay. And at the end of the whole shenanigan, we will return an array based on this list. So how do you convert a list to array? Is there a shortcut or I have to just create a? Yeah, just create now. So, integer array is called result equals to new integer array. Is there a shortcut to create a list to an array? Let's see. That method using two arrays, a two array method. Let's look at the two array method. So you have a list, 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 list dot two array. Converting list to array using two array method. Let's try that, see if it works. So It also says to pass uh, a list to it, right? Otherwise, it doesn't take. It also like it it passes in something to it. What's the So let's do Java Docs to array. Okay, there is a order to find the type because it will contain. Okay to give it a proper type. It turns an array uh, of all elements in this list in the proper sequence. And yeah, the previous one is probably more interesting to you. Did you tell it? It is an array containing all elements of the elements in this list in the proper sequence. The return time type of the return array is that of the specified array. Okay, so you pass some, okay, which is why you want to might, you might want to pass like a new integer array like that. Is it? Yeah, some, some, maybe zero, zero, is that, does that work? I just want to give you the, 
type, right? So, okay, let's see if this works. Index out of bounds. Minus one is needed. Yeah, it works. Okay, run example test cases. And submit. And it works. All right. 